Hi, my name is Scott Nelson. I'm the Senior Vice President and General Manager of the Memory Business Unit here at Keoxia America. Joining me today will be Doug Wong, our Senior Staff Application Engineer, to talk a bit more in depth about 3D NAND technology. Last time I explained why the definition of technology leadership in the 3D era has changed. Now, we wanted to dive a bit deeper into the different factors in play that make a high layer count an obsolete method of evaluation. The obvious answer of more layers isn't always better. It's all about maximizing the total number of bits per wafer and minimizing cost per bit. Think of designing 3D flash memory like designing a high-rise building. You build to accommodate a particular capacity, let's say a number of offices. Your main constraint would be the plot of land that you're building on. So once you figure out your XY, if additional capacity is needed, you would add floors vertically. But for every floor that you add, you add costs. What if a builder found a way to increase the capacity of each floor? Maybe there are fewer copy rooms to accommodate more offices. You could then achieve the same capacity with fewer floors. Exactly. And this illustrates the significance of lateral density as seen in Kyokushu's sixth generation 162 layer 3D flash memory technology. With lateral density, we achieve greater capacity in a smaller die with fewer layers. In the era of floating gate, lithography was the determining factor in who had the best technology. Increasing the aerial density in one layer was the key, and you could reduce the cost per gigabyte by increasing the number of gigabytes per wafer. Enter 3D, and there is now another dimension to play with. The goal is the same, get the maximum number of bits for the least cost to make a wafer. It's the thought process and the way you get there that is different. Because 3D NAND development is so different than floating gate, the industry needs to be thinking differently about 3D NAND development. When customers are evaluating who they're going to align with for their designs, it would be natural to assume that the supplier with the highest number of layers is leading and the others are lagging behind technology-wise. In fact, the opposite is more likely to be true. 